Um, just to be ready. I told when I talked to East, I told him like history was kind of repeating itself because my first start, like, my last call on the road, so I, I was just ready for the, the opportunity. Didn't want to, you know, let the team down, but I felt like I played pretty well in my first start. Sean East kind of said after the last game that he texted Coach Gates that because you and Aiden give the team a spark, bring energy. What, what, what does that look like to you? What does that mean to you? To me, I would say a spark from me and Aiden would just be giving energy on both ends of the floor. Obviously, I'm sure Sean wanted to make a change just because we, we just needed to start games a little faster. And, and that's not saying that we were starting games horrible with the lineup that we had in at first, but we just wanted a, a new look, a new feel, and we were able to execute from the start of the game, and that just rolled over into the rest of the 40 minutes. Tamar, how have you seen this team kind of mesh through these first couple weeks of the season, especially on the offensive end, just in terms of knowing each other's tendencies and developing chemistry? I feel like it's getting better with Tom. Uh, we have a lot of older guys on the team who have been in college basketball for a little minute. So obviously the guys that transfer in the freshman, we're learning a new system, but I feel like how close we are off the court allows us to be able to communicate and, you know, just mesh a lot better on the floor. But I mean, it, it all just comes with, with time and playing games. And I feel like as the season's been going on, we've been better offensively just because we've been playing together more. I mean, we only eight games in, so. Have you enjoyed playing this offensive, free-flowing kind of offensive system compared to maybe years past? Yeah, no doubt. Uh, this this system definitely caters to my game a lot more. Allows me to, you know, just play off of instincts. And obviously when we run sets, I'm able to be in spots to help affect the team in a good way on the offensive end. But yeah, the system, I feel like it would, benefit anybody who can, you know, shoot the ball, drive and pass and just a good decision maker. So I feel like it's just a, a good place for me to play my game. Coach talked a little bit about how many more free throws you guys are, are giving up than you're getting yourselves. And I'm not asking the officiating question, but what has to change on, on both ends of the floor to, to even that out? We just gotta continue to attack the paint violently, make the refs, make the calls. I mean, we, we know going on the road, we're not, we probably not going to get the, the whistle as much, but that's not going to make us shy away from getting paint touches. And, you know, at home, we're going to continue to attack the paint, but we just got to be more violent when we attack the rim, play off two feet. And, you know, try just try to get to the line as much as possible. It's a lot tougher, especially on the road. But, you know, like I said, we're not going to shy away from it. We're not going to stop trying to get paint touches because getting to the free throw line on the road and at home is important. Tamar, what uh, what lessons c can you take from the pit game uh, in terms of rebounding successes? Because you all did a pretty good job of it against a very good rebounding team. You're facing another team in Wichita State that's very good, especially on the defensive glass. We knew going into the game that they were one of the better rebounding teams, not only in the ACC, but in the country from what they've shown early on this year. So we knew we had to have our best rebounding game of the year to win. You know, we, we were just focused on that part of the game. And I feel like my takeaway would just be that if we're focused on that for 40 minutes, obviously we can compete with anybody, but we can win you know, as many games as, as we play from here on out. So we just got to continue to focus on rebounding the ball. And I mean, that, that, that's really all it is. It was just a mentality. We knew that we had to block out every possession for 40 minutes, and it, you know, we got a win out of it. Tamar, what are some things that stand out to you about Wichita State coming in on Sunday? I haven't watched too much film on them. I've seen some games just from when they were playing down in, um, at Coastal Carolina. I watched some games. I haven't seen too many specifics. I know a lot of the guys personally on the team just because a few of them are from Kansas, so it'll be fun to see them and compete against them. But I know they're a big team. Like you said, they, they rebound, they run, they try to, you know, play in the high-low situations a lot. I'm sure they got a lot of guys that can shoot the ball well. But like I said, I mean, I got to 
watch some more film and uh, we'll, we'll break them down as we get closer to the game. All right, one last question for tomorrow.